Hello and welcome to TAP Academy's YouTube channel. My name is Rohit. I'm the founder and CEO of TAP Academy. And today we are going to discuss a topic which is dearest to my heart and is something which you have in all of your minds, which is how to begin your journey of coding. I'm sure most of you have seen your friends, relatives, uncles, aunts having expensive laptops, headphones and just sitting and type some code through which they earn a lot of money and travel the world. You would have also seen people working in amazing looking cool offices around the world in both your service based and product based companies. Now I'm sure you also want to have a great career in the field of computer science and coding. But the larger question is, how do you even get started? Well, this video, my friends, is going to answer exactly that. Step number one is choosing a programming language. Now you may ask, what do you mean by programming language? Well, you must understand my friends, in order to code, you must choose a programming language because it is through the programming languages that the computer is going to understand what you're saying because it can't understand English, Hindi, Telugu, Kannada, Russian. No, it can understand only programming languages, right? Now the question is, which programming language do you choose? Because there are so many options out there. Let me simplify this for you. Well, my friends, I'm in a strong believer that you must choose a programming language which is suitable to your goals. Now, what do I mean? For example, you want to create amazing Android apps. Then, my dear friends, Java programming language would be an ideal choice for you. Let us assume you want to explore a career in the field of data science and artificial intelligence. Then Python is the best programming language for you. Let us assume it is gaming which really fascinates you. Then C++ would be the right programming language for you. Let us assume that creating beautiful front ends of websites is your calling. Then probably learning HTML, CSS and JavaScript could be the right choice for you. But I am somebody whose majority of the audience in front of me are always such people who have just graduated out of college, which in India we refer to as freshers, right? You're fresh out of college and looking for a job. Well, I would always ask you to choose between two programming languages. One is Java and the other is Python. Now you may ask, why do I give preference to these two programming languages? Answer is simple. Ultimately, in order for you to start your coding career, you need a job. And if you look at this as your job market, let us assume 70% of the job opportunities is always for Java programming language. The remaining 30% is for Python programming language. And this again is specific to freshers. Of course, the graph, the equation changes if it is for experienced or working professionals. But because you're a fresher, I would ask you to choose between these two programming languages. Well, that covers option one, choose either Java or Python. Now, what is the second thing you must do? Step number two is to understand the fundamentals of programming. For example, arrays, strings, looping, encapsulation, inheritance, polymorphism, abstraction. My friends, these words that you see are core programming concepts which everybody has to know. Think of it this way. These concepts are like building blocks. Using building blocks, you can build different kinds of structures. But knowing which piece to place where plays an important role in building the structure that you want. Similarly, these concepts that I just spoke about are building blocks of programming. Mixing and matching them in the right order is what helps you to develop amazing softwares. So clarity on these concepts is very important. Now to do so, you need to follow some good resources. I'm sure there are plenty of resources online from where you can learn. Even TAP Academy has a playlist on Java through which you can master these fundamental concepts. Right? Great. Let's move on to step number three. Now you know the fundamentals. What do you do next? Practice coding. Now, how do you practice coding? It's very simple. It's by solving some commonly asked coding puzzles, quizzes and challenges. For example, something as simple as how do you reverse a string will give you conceptual clarity on how to create a string in Java, how to run a loop on that string, how to take what is there in a string and put it into another string. What is the difference between a mutable string and immutable string? All these concepts which you theoretically learn, you learn how to practically apply. 
Now, obviously, nobody is going to give you a job if you know how to reverse a string, but definitely everyone has to start somewhere. Now, by solving n number of coding questions, your conceptual clarity, your logical ability will improve. As a matter of fact, I have pinned in the video uh, as a comment 250 commonly asked coding questions which you can solve in order to build your logic. Make sure to solve all those 250 questions and I am sure you will become better. Now that you have practiced these fundamental concepts, let's move on to point number four, which my dear friends is to become better at coding by learning data structures and algorithms. Now this word DSA, I am sure is something which you guys have been hearing about a lot. All your top product based companies such as your Google, Amazon, Microsoft, Facebook, Adobe, all of these guys compulsorily ask questions on data structures and algorithms before giving a job to their potential recruits. Now you must be under, you must be thinking why DSA is important. Let me put it this way. Writing code is something everybody can do, but how efficiently that code is written how fast the code executes in, term, in terms of time and how much less or more memory it occupies in terms of memory is something everybody need to think about. In fact, measuring how much time your code takes is called as time complexity. In fact, measuring how much space your code takes in the memory is called as space complexity. Data structures and algorithms gives you tried and tested techniques through which one can reduce the time your code takes to execute and reduce the space that it occupies in the memory. And to do so, you have different data structures such as arrays, linked lists, uh, queues, dequeues, uh, maps, hash maps, trees. There are different types of data structures one can learn. And there are algorithms such as dynamic programming, greedy algorithms to name a few, which will allow you to write code which executes fast and also consumes less memory. So my dear friends, learning DSA is the key to get a high package job in the IT industry. So make sure you're doing that. Last but not the least is point number five, which is coding is nothing but building something. So without building something, how will you become good at coding? And hence point number five is building projects. Something as simple as creating a to-do list or a calculator can be an entry point for you to work on projects. Going ahead, we can create amazing projects such as e-commerce websites, recommendation engines to name a few. But projects plays a critical role in securing that dream IT job. I hope these five points which I listed out has been of some benefit to you. Follow them for one month. Come back to this video and comment if this has helped you become better at programming. If you loved today's video, it is my humble request to subscribe and share this video. It really helps a startup like us to get our content out to the world. Thank you so much for your love and support. Keep coding, keep learning. My name is Rohit and I'll catch you in the next video.